yourself and you're here today to celebrate the 70th birthday of the NHS. Well, I just want to thank all the incredible staff that are here today, the volunteers, but all the staff who work for the NHS in Harlow all year round, making our lives better, looking after our health and safety, and we're incredibly grateful, and I'm really proud to be here today to celebrate with all the Harlow hospital staff, GP staff, and lots of uh, similar organisations like St Clair's Hospice, for example, and, and Robson Trust, to all do a lot for volunteers. Um, what, um what state would you say the health service in Harlow is at the moment and what, what can you tell us on its birthday? Got any presents for it? <laughs> <laughs> Good. Well, we have some incredible staff. I would argue some of the finest NHS staff in the country and I see that when I regularly visit the hospital and I you know, have a local GP surgery. They're all amazing They're there and I know they are across uh, Harlow. Um, but we need a new hospital. Um, that would be the best birthday present in Harlow the government would give. I'm campaigning all the time. I've just had my second debate on the new hospital in, in Harlow. We need a new hospital health campus so we can make sure that the NHS in Harlow is fit for the 21st century, that these incredible staff and volunteers who are here today have a proper health service to work in and that the patients have a proper health service to be uh, looked after in. Because in that debate you were able to use all the other MPs, weren't you, you know, from, you know, for this um, Epping and Stortford and Hartford. Did that help? That is huge and um, what's important is I was trying to make the case that it isn't just good for Harlow, it's good for the whole of West Essex and the surrounding areas and surrounding areas of Hertfordshire if we get our new hospital health camps. In fact, I had, a, as well as having the two debates and uh, raising it in Parliament with the Prime Minister, I had a recent meeting with the Hospitals Minister, Steve Barclay and um, the chief executive of the hospital only last week about the new hospital and whilst he wasn't giving any promises he did say the fact that we had a little strong support from neighbouring MPs has made a, a big difference in terms of the uh, those hospitals that are those areas that are asking for new hospitals um, and we are here to celebrate but there's things like the Oslo House that didn't help did it you know, on the year that we're celebrating you know uh, that, do you think that's sorted out yet no, I think there's a long way to go. Um, I thought the Osler House thing was not handled at all well and I think residents were let down. I fought hard against the closure. I had meetings with the health ministers, the uh, uh, CCG say, the, the local commissioning group for patients say that the patients in Osler House have now been allocated um, other surgeries to go to but the proof of the pudding will be in the eating and I want to be sure that the most vulnerable are protected about that. The good news though is that despite these difficulties that we've had, that the Prime Minister's announced an extra 20 billion a year for the National Health Service and that's the best present the NHS could have. That will feed through to us locally and I just uh, spoke, I met yesterday with, the chief, uh, with one of the senior directors of the East of England Ambulance Service. They've also had increased investment which, um, which they look after Harlow, so that hopefully should improve our ambulance service as well. And finally, just go back to Harlow, and it's the individuals, you know, whether it's nurses like Christopher over there, Nancy Fontaine, Graham the fundraiser, um, Amy for St Clair Hospice, you know, this is all, and the two doctors who did a 52 mile run on Saturday that left me for dust. Um, you know, it's all about the individuals, isn't it? Uh, the people who work in the National Health Service, it's not, no one goes to the National Health Service just because they want a job. They do it because they are the guardians of our health and they're very, very special people. And I'm telling you, I wouldn't be here for, as an MP today if it hadn't been for Great Ormond Street Hospital, which I spent a lot of my childhood in. I had a, operations there when I was very small on my legs. I had to go there every single week. Uh, you know, right up until I can remember 11, 12 uh, years old and uh, the NHS has made it possible for me to walk, uh, genuinely, uh, because I couldn't walk as a child. So I love the National Health Service, I will do everything I can to protect it, I'm glad the government are going to give more money, we'll always need more, and I want to do everything I can as MP to continue the fight for a brand new hospital health campus for the 21st century. Robert Halpin, thank you very much.